The Fairy Tales of Rumpelstiltskin In a small cottage, there lived a poor miller with his family. His daughter was a wonderful baker. She made the most delicious tarts, apple pies, and cookies all fit for a king to eat. One day, as she was baking an apple pie, the king passed through the village. Hmm, I smell apple pie. Where's the delicious smell coming from? Take me there. Oh, please, your majesty, come in and have a slice. Scrumptious delicious! That's the best pie I've ever tasted. Who made it? Our daughter Lisa. She can also weave the most beautiful cloth and spin the finest thread. In fact, she can spin straw into gold. Wonderful! I'll take her to my castle. My kingdom is not very rich. I could do with more gold. If you can turn straw into gold, you will be rewarded. Lisa, if you can't, you will be punished. Oh no! What am I going to do now? It was midnight. Lisa was crying beside a big heap of straw and a spinning wheel. Suddenly, she heard a scratching sound. A strange little man with a long pointed nose entered the room through the window. Why are you crying? If I don't spin this heap of straw into gold by tomorrow morning, the king will punish me. That's nothing to cry about. Don't worry. I will help you. But you must promise to give me something in return. I'll give you my precious necklace. In the morning, Lisa woke up and was utterly surprised to find a heap of shining gold instead of the straw. Just then, the king walked in. So your father did tell the truth. You can spin straw into gold. Can I go home now, please? Not so soon, Lisa. I need more gold. Lisa was placed in a much larger room filled with heaps of straw. She began crying. Once again, the little strange man appeared before her. Hmm... More straw to spin, huh? I love to spin straw. So, what will you promise me this time? I will give you my most precious ring. In the morning, the king was amazed to see more gold. He became greedier. He put her in the largest room in the castle. It was full of straw. Lisa would become queen if she spun this final amount of straw into gold. That midnight, Lisa hoped the strange little man would appear and he did. I will help you. What will you promise me this time? I'm sorry, I have nothing left to give you. Promise me that if you ever become the queen, you will give me your firstborn child. Yes, I promise. The next day, the king returned, delighted to find the room filled with gold. Oh, wonderful! You will now be my queen! A year passed. The king and Queen Lisa had a beautiful child. One day, the little strange man appeared at the palace. Now, give me what you promised. No, no! I cannot give you my precious child. Take anything you want. Just don't take my child. No, you must keep to your promise. Please, you can take as much gold as you want, but leave my baby alone. Please, I beg you. I'll give you another chance. I'll come back in two days. If you can guess my name correctly, you can keep your baby forever. Are uh, you William? No, no, you must be Joseph. Ahaha, keep on guessing. Remember, you have only got until tomorrow. Then your baby's mine. 
Then the little strange man disappeared into thin air. Queen Lisa's parents followed the little strange man into the woods. That night, they saw him dancing around a small fire, chanting, Wife and family, I have none, but tomorrow I'll have the king's own son. Tricks and riddles are my game, Rumpelstiltskin is my name. The next morning at the castle, What's my name? Tell me, tell me. The strange little man began asking excitedly, I think your name is Christoph. Ah ha ha, keep on guessing. Is it Nicholas? Wrong. You will never guess my name. I know, Rumpelstiltskin is your name. Now, you must keep your promise. Leave immediately. The child is mine forever. Rumpelstiltskin cried out in rage. He stamped his foot, never to return again. The End